Hello everybody, this is the GoTo family. Today I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the Polynesian Resort here at Disney. So this is a resort that has been undergoing some uh, maintenance, some construction. They're kind of redoing some parts of the resort. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of what it looks like right now in the summer of 2021. And I'll talk a little bit about what uh, you can expect uh, at the Polynesian going forward in the next couple of months. All right, so let's start this tour. We're gonna start right here. We are in the lobby, guys. And the reason I'm not starting this tour outside is because if you just see what's in front of me, you'll see that the doors are locked. So you can actually come through the main entrance here at the Polynesian right now because they're still slowly uh, doing some um, maintenance and they are slowly opening things up. So you can see right here, it says, please pardon our appearance. This area is being refurbished for your future enjoyment. Mahalo. There you go, guys. So you cannot actually uh, walk in or out through here unless it's for emergency purposes. This is an artistic representation of what the outside of the great ceremonial house would look like when the renovations are completed. So this is the entrance, or at least will be the entrance once they open the doors. To my right, you will have, uh, this is the lobby, this is where you check in, this is where they have guest services, they have bell services here as well. And you can see they tell you aloha. Everybody here actually says aloha, not hi. So that's kind of cool, uh, just in keeping with, with the theming of the resort. And if you need to come and wait, you will come and wait right over here. You can see kind of what the seating space uh, looks like. So we're just gonna make our way this way because I wanna kind of show you guys the lobby a little bit. And also this right here, because I find this kind of cool. So this is a big map of the Polynesian village here. So essentially it kind of tells you where things are situated. So you can see that the Magic Kingdom is on the other side of the lake, guys. Now, I don't think that it tells us where we are, but I'm at the Great Ceremonial House. So we're gonna come to this side. And here you're greeted by this Polynesian style figurine there is holding, I believe it's called a lei. It's like this flower kind of necklace. And I think that during non-COVID times, you can make those somewhere around here. But uh, of course, because they're still kind of reopening everything, they are not uh, doing that right now. So they have some activities for kids right here. So they're each at 16 cooking How are you? So I think well, I want to make one. <laughs> They're kind of like lays. They're like making these kind of beaded necklaces. Yep. And <laughs> we're learning how to do it. Let's see it. That looks pretty cool. So we're going to continue our tour. And uh, first stop is we're going to go this way. And we're going to go to the Tiki Boutique. Now you can see here at the Polynesian that they have plenty of seating space. So it's very nice, very cozy. The design is top notch. So we're gonna go to the Tiki Boutique and just kinda show you guys around a little bit.
Okay, so uh, we went inside the Tiki Boutique. Now, I had to mute the audio because they were playing some copyrighted music, but basically they have a little bit of everything in there. So you're gonna have clothes, you can buy shirts, they're gonna have bathing suits in there uh, as well. They're gonna have uh, some souvenirs, but mainly it's, it's a lot of clothes actually inside uh, the Tiki Boutique. And uh, you could also buy Havana sandals, so you can come and you can do some, some shopping here. We are just gonna go onto the second floor. And after that, we're gonna go outside and explore a little bit of the outside. So I'm just gonna take the stairs here. We're gonna go to the second floor and just show you guys what <laughs> yeah. there is on the second floor. All right guys, so here we are. This is the second floor. So right here, if you make reservations for Ohana, you're gonna come and check in right here for Hannah, and then you get to sit in this area. And then uh, once your table is ready, they will ask you to go in. So you'll be sitting here while you wait for your reservation at Ohana. Of course, you don't have to go to Ohana to sit here. You can see people are sitting here right now. And I think that Ohana might be closed right now because it's right after breakfast. So here we have Ohana, and right here we have the Tambu Lounge. You can come here and just get some drinks. Now we have some footage for, for Ohana. We can roll a, a bit of the footage right now. way this way uh, we're gonna see the Kona cafe so this is the Kona cafe right over here guys and we can see that it is pretty busy right now so people are definitely eating here right now I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the menu in a little bit this is the Kona cafe right here so this is what you can get at the Kona cafe so you can get some appetizers, you can get some burgers and sandwiches. Uh, you can also get some entrees, corner chicken stir fry, Maui bacon lettuce, and tomato duck fried rice with leg confit. Oh, that sounds pretty good. You can get the steak salad, pork belly, noodle bowl, and then they have their featured beers. And you're gonna see here some Hawaiian beers. And here you have your Kona Island coffee and sushi. Coffee and sushi, pretty interesting combination. Not two words you, you often see kind of mixed together, right? And you can see what they have right here. You can get a latte, a cappuccino, you can get a mocha, and they also have pastries here, baked fresh every day. So this is the Kona Island coffee and sushi. So this is more a place where you come, you take your food, and then you go and uh, you sit somewhere else. You can see kind of some of the options that they have. Hello, aloha. So you can see some of the options that they have right now. Right here, let's try to zoom in on that. So they have a stitch, that looks like a stitch cake right there, a cupcake, a stitch cupcake. Then of course we have some, uh, you know, Mickey cupcake. We have a Moana right there. We have an aloha. And then we have some other desserts right there. That's a key lime pie. We have a s'more. We have a coconut pearl tapioca. That looks really good. Banana rum and truffle or trifle. Wow. Some of those look really good. That coconut pearl tapioca looks amazing. And here we have some more stuff. Guys, there's plenty of options here that all look really, really good. Oreo cookie. Oh, if I told Robin about that, she would go crazy over it. And we have some dark chocolate, 
and a Mickey cookie. Look at that, guys. That is beautiful. Of toasted coconut M&Ms. So a lot of really good, beautiful options here. And uh, there's some more stuff, guys. So this is the sushi section. So that's why it's called a coffee and sushi. So they have their sushi right over here, guys. You can get a Kona Island, California roll. And also they have just a few seats right over here. So if you want to sit, they have just a few seats uh, over here. But I believe you could probably sit over here as well if you want. As we make our way uh, towards this side, we are at the Moana Mercantile. So let's see what they have in here, guys. All right, so we got some Mickey shirts right over here. We kind of see those all over the place. A mini zip-up sweater. We have a cool frozen hat. A beautiful multicolor mini shirt right tank top right over there. And we have some buckets here for the kids to play in the water or in the sand. We have some castles to make some sand castles. And then you can also get some Mickey PJs for the kids some water shoes, some hats, and more clothes. You get some hand sanitizer right here, guys. And we actually have, I believe, this exact same one. We got some shirts on this side. So you can see the Moana team. You can see the Stitch team on that side. You can get a Stitch hat right here. Right, you can get some Moana toys. Really cool Moana set. And here we have some stuffies on this side. This is the area where you can buy drinks and snacks. So we could see here. You can buy some drinks, snacks, and sweets, of course. So for the grown-ups, you can come here if you're staying here at the Polynesian or elsewhere, but especially if you're staying here, you can come and they're going to have Miller Lite and perhaps some of your favorite beverages. You can see what the going rate is for some of these. So uh, a six pack of the Coors Light Lager will run you 16.50 right here. Same for the Budweiser Lager. You can also get a Kona longboard lager right over there. It's more of a specialty. Here it's going to be nine bucks, Corona. And here we have your drinks, apple juices. We're gonna have some grapefruit juice. We're gonna have Cokes over here, lemonade. And I think you can see some of the prices there. Of course, water. And over here, we're gonna have some bacon. Now, my kids absolutely love these uh, Lunchables with cheese, crackers, and salami. Just some other miscellaneous goods, Advil for kids over here as well. And they're going to have some wine and some bigger Coke bottles over there. Okay, so let's go outside and let's see what they have. So as we go out, you're going to see a pineapple lanai. And here you can come and you can get Dole Whip cups. That's really the specialty that they have here at Pineapple Lanai. So they have the Dole Whip cup with pineapple, Dole Whip vanilla or swirl. So let's make our way this way. So we can see kind of what there is and where it's located over here. So if we go to the left, it's Tuvalu, Tonga, Marina. Okay, so we're just gonna go with the flow. So I'm just gonna go straight ahead, guys. This is gonna be the pool right over here. And I gotta tell you, Polynesian has an awesome pool.
All right, so here is the pool, guys. Now they have the best water park here for kids. This is unbelievable. Just check it out, guys. This is just so nice. And also very, very big. The kids love playing over here. They run up and down for hours on end. And of course, there's a lifeguard right over there just keeping an eye out to make sure that everything is going smoothly. And we have the pool over here. It's a really beautiful pool. So you have this big giant rock in the middle and it's, you know, there's water flowing from it. Just everything is just really nice, guys. Over here, the pool is, uh, I would say, one of the highlights here at the Polynesia. Now, as I walk around, I'll show you guys more shots of the pool. So I'm just gonna walk back up here because right next to the pool, they have Captain Cook's. This is right by the pool. You can see they got plenty of seating space and not all of it is taken. Let's go inside. And it's a non-smoking area, all right. So we're inside Captain Cook here. So right at the entrance here, they have uh, a fountain where you can get fountain drinks. You can also get coffees over here or teas. Right here you can get your Fantas, Colas and other drinks. Oh, and they have more seating space over here. But first let's check out what they have. So you can get drinks and snacks right over here. You can get ice creams. And here they have a fridge where you can buy, you know, orange juice. A little bit of what we saw on the second floor at the uh, Moana Mercantile. So water, and uh, you can get some fruits here. And here they're going to have takeaway order, so uh, pick up and, and go. So you can order through your phone and they're going to uh, get the orders ready and then they're going to prepare them right here and they're going to call out your name, I believe. And then you just come and you pick up your order. Now, for some of the options, we can see here they have a menu right up there. For lunch and dinner, they have Thai coconut meatballs, they have Pan Asian noodles and vegetables. The, meat, the coconut meatballs are $9.49. They have an Aloha pork sandwich for $10.99, uh, Asian style noodle salad for $9.49, superfood salad for $9.99. They have an Angus, uh, a, a third pounder, Angus bacon cheeseburger for 12 bucks. The price is very reasonable over here. And here you can see some of the other options that they have. So the prices are very reasonable here. Um, definitely cheaper than eating at one of the restaurants. So if you're looking for a place to eat more affordable food, definitely come right here at Captain Cook's and come check it out. This is inside. So you get a little bit of inside and outside seating space. They actually have a ton of seating space. So even, we're just gonna go back out. So even behind here, where all these people are sitting, you can come here and have a section of the pool actually kind of protruding from outside the pool. And it's almost like a, like a waterfall here. So you can enjoy beautiful sounds of the water falling. Oh, actually, this is the Trader's Thames Tiki Terrace right here. You can see here they have a Polynesian Pearl, which is a rum chata, cream liquor, Tiki Tiki rum. They're going to have some really awesome drinks here. Some of them will come in cool, you know, uh, souvenir cups like the shrunken zombie head. So a uh, really cool place to come and get some drinks. So Trader Sam's is not open right now. But usually this is a place that will serve up some beautiful drinks.
All right, so I'm just kind of walking here. Um, just gonna see what else we can we can find here. Uh, yeah, so we're kind of walking on the side of that Trader Sam's, right up there. The pool is over here. So we were just on the other side. Now what's cool is that they have a slide up there that you can walk up guys and you can see this looks like an actual mountain that they have here. So you can see people kind of walking up there. And right now we're approaching the Seven Seas Marina. <laughs> Just look at this guys, this is really cool. There is an entrance over there, but for staff only. And people are just walking all the way up, guys. This is really cool. So right here is an exit only. So this is for, for the pool. And we're just gonna go around, guys. So right here at the Seven Seas Marina, um, I believe that they have, you can get some fishing excursions and things of that nature. We'll keep walking. It looks like you can do some fishing in Bay Lake. I actually wasn't aware of this, but it looks like you can do it. And um, they have a website right there. If you're interested, takemefishing.org. All right, and on the other side, that looks like the Grand Floridian. So we're just basically a stone's throw away from the Grand Floridian. So we're just walking by the marina, guys. This is kind of what it looks like you can see here. And the Magic Kingdom is behind there. We can see the monorail in the distance. So you can see we're just very, very close to everything. And here they have, this is the beach. Of course, it's not an actual beach. It's like every other hotel or resort here at Disney, there is no actual swimming area on the beach, but you can come here and you can sun lounge if you want. You can see that the sand is like perfectly manicured here, just beautiful, looks very nice. And you have some chairs over there where you can come and sun lounge. If you want, of course, you see nobody is doing it right now. And a big reason for that is because, well, you can't really swim. So kind of takes away from the fun, but still you can do it if that's what you want. Now to my right, we are passing the pool once again, guys. So I told you guys that we were gonna be able to see more of the pool. Well, here it is. And the pool, I would say, is really, uh, you know, it's really nice here at the Polynesian. It's beautiful. Okay, so the pool hours, by the way, uh, if you need to know right here, are from 10 to 11. PM. And also the, this area is for the exclusive use of Disney Polynesian Village Resort guests. So today we are actually not guests of the Disney Polynesian. We came here to have uh, lunch or brunch, I, I should say, breakfast and lunch, but more like breakfast at Ohana's. And so we are not actual guests of the Polynesian. So we wouldn't be able to go swimming in there. You have to be a guest of the Polynesian. you can come and play some volleyball if you want. Now you can see to my right, this is, these are some of the rooms here at the Polynesian. You can see what they look like, it's beautiful. We can see the over the water bungalows in the distance. You can kind of see that it is a big property. I'm not sure if I'm gonna walk the whole thing, but it definitely goes around. And just it gets very laid back here because most of the action is around the pool and the central building. Here is a closer look at the bungalows. They have a beautiful view of the lake and the Magic Kingdom fireworks at night. 
it's definitely on my bucket list to stay in one. So I'm just kind of making my way back there. You can see this is the Hawaii building. It says right over there. So I'm just making my way back here to through the back alleys right here at the Polynesian. But really, we're not very far. Now this is a different pool, actually. And this one has different operation hours, so. This is from seven to 11. So this is the pool by the Hawaii building here. It's nice laid back pool here. And so we're just gonna keep making our way back to the main building. So right now we're passing, this is a Tokelau building to my left. Right, so we're back at the Great Ceremonial House. And we saw the monorail leave from up above the entrance, or at least the station to it. We saw that it's on the second floor there. Forgot to mention that, but I, it is refurbishing, so I don't believe that it's functional right now. Now so. that the monorail station's under construction, um, there's two ways to get to the Magic Kingdom or other resorts. You can go to the transportation center, which is to my left. It's a short walk, especially if you're staying in the DVC section. Or you can take a water boat to Magic Kingdom, which is directly behind me. And they are continuously leaving. All right, guys, so this is going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of the Polynesian Resort here at Disney. Guys, this is an awesome place to come and stay and check out. If you're not staying here, you can come eat at Ohana and you can still kind of check out the resort. It's just a nice, cool place to come and check out. It's a really immersive resort, guys. So this is going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.